Keeping your lenses and ports clean is a crucial part in the process of getting good underwater footage. In today's video, we'll look at how this is actually done. Hi and welcome back to the Underwater Filmmaking School and today's episode of Back to Basics. Now you can have the most expensive camera, but if the lenses that you're using and the ports on your underwater camera housing are not crispy clean, you're not gonna be happy with the footage that you're collecting and for most parts, it will actually be unusable. Now to save you that pain, I'm gonna give you some tips and tricks in today's video how you can keep those lenses and ports nice and crispy clean. Let's talk about lenses first. Now it goes without saying that you should keep your lenses nice and clean and you should actually check whether those lenses are clean pretty much every time you put a lens onto your camera and also every time you put a camera including the lens inside your underwater camera housing. Now how can you do this? There is different companies that supply um, tools to keep your lenses clean. Um, the one that I like is a company called Rolay and that's their travel cleaning kit which I personally use and why do I like this because it's nice compact and small I can have it with me wherever I go um, it even fits into my pocket so I've got it ready with me whenever the need arises now inside this cleaning package there is a couple of things that will help you keep your lenses clean first and foremost this little piece of equipment here. Honestly speaking, I don't even know what it's called in English. It's a little blowy thing, so you can blow some air out of it, and it's basically used to get dust away from your lens. So you can basically just blow air onto your lens and get the dust that has collected on the lens, for whatever reason, away from it. If this doesn't work, if the dust has uh, stuck a little more, is stuck a little more to the front element of your lens, there is also this little piece of equipment which is basically like a little brush. Now what you can do with this, if you can't get the dust away by just blowing at it, you can use this little brush and in a circular way you can brush away whatever is left on the lens. Be careful though, don't put too much pressure on it, you don't want to rub those particles into your lens, but you really just want to do it in nice and circular and easy um, movements there to get whatever is left on your lens away. Also, other parts that you'll find inside here are microfiber cloth, there is um, also some wet cleaning towels that you can use to actually get stuff off your lens that has um, sort of dried up on your lens and is more difficult to get away. You'll also find a little solution inside here that will help you clean your um, camera lenses. Now when it comes to cleaning solution for your lenses, you should try not to use any detergent or anything. The best thing to use is dedicated cleaning solution like supplied in these packages, in these uh, uh, packages made by manufacturers specifically for cleaning lenses or alternatively you can also use cleaning solution that is used for your glasses. That works just as well and you can buy it in many stores and it's normally cheaper than getting the specific cleaning solution for camera lenses. Also a topic that is important to cover is what kind of cloth you're using to clean the camera lenses. Now if you need to use a cloth, if uh, the, the little blowy thing is not enough and the brush always make sure to use a nice and new and clean microfiber cloth. Um, very important. Please, please, please do not use any paper towels, any tissues, any toilet paper for that matter. Anything uh, papery will actually or can potentially scratch your lens. Even though it feels nice and soft, they do have tiny little particles on that paper and if you put too much pressure on it, you might damage and scratch your lenses. So just be very careful with that. Uh, at best, 
don't use any paper tissues or paper towels or anything like that at all. Always use a microfiber cloth to clean the lenses if you really need to um, and if the little air blower or the brush are not enough. And a little pro tip there as well. Don't forget the back part of your lens. So it's not just the front element that needs cleaning, it's also the back element here. Sometimes some dust and stuff can accumulate in here as well and you wanna make sure that that is nice and clean too. Let's move on to our camera ports and it doesn't matter whether it's a wide angle port like this one here that I'm using on my naughty cam housing when I'm filming with my GH5 and the 12 to 60 millimeter um, Lumix lens or Leica lens I better say in there uh, it also works for macro ports basically any ports that you put on uh, at the front of your underwater camera rig now with ports we have to differentiate between two different types of material that these front elements of the ports are made of now you can have them made out of either glass or acrylic um, depending on what material they're made of, it's gonna be a little different on how you wanna clean these uh, ports. Now, generally speaking, the best that you can do here again as well is use simple um, cleaning solution for your glasses to actually give the port a nice and uh, proper clean from time to time. Um, again, use a microfiber cloth to do so, so you're not risking stretching your port. And also important, always check the manufacturer's recommendation on what kind of solution, cleaning solution, um, they recommend for cleaning their ports. Now if the port has a coating on it, always follow the manufacturer's instructions on how to clean that port and don't use any third party cleaning solutions to actually do so because you're risking damaging that coating and therefore the image quality that you'll be able to acquire using that port. As I said before, normal cleaning solution for your glasses is generally speaking the best and safest bet to clean your ports. Now if you have acrylic ports, you can also use a cleaning solution called Novus, which is basically um, a solution that helps you get rid of small scratches inside or on the top of your acrylic port. Now acrylic ports are normally not as resistant to smaller scratches as glass ports are. Glass ports are just a lot higher quality and uh, harder in that sense so it's much much more difficult to get small little scratches into a glass port but an acrylic port will quite easily get some small scratches. As I said there is a, a solution for that it's called Novus which is a cleaning solution and you can use that to get small scratches out of your acrylic port. I've made a specific video about how you actually do that, the entire process of cleaning and getting rid of small scratches from your acrylic port, which I'll happily link up here in the corner so you can go and check that out. Now if you do manage to scratch your glass port, that is going to be a lot more difficult to get that scratch out of the glass port simply because that material is a lot harder, a lot tougher to work on than acrylic and I recommend seeing your preferable and your favorite underwater imaging store and checking with them how you can repair that glass port. And one thing that I nearly forgot, the products that we talked about in today's video, there will be links to all of these products down in the video description below, so feel free to go and check them out there. And that's it, a quick and easy explanation on how you can make sure that your lenses and ports are always nice and clean and you get the best possible footage out of your underwater adventures. Now if this video was useful to you guys, if you've got something out of it, please do not forget to hit that like button and also consider subscribing to the channel so you're not missing out on any future content that will be uploaded here. Also, I've opened a Patreon account a little while ago, so if you're getting value out of my content here and you would like to give something back to the channel, support it a little bit, please feel free to head over to my Patreon profile and check out the supporter packages that I've put together for you. And obviously, I would love for you to become one of my patrons. 
So thanks again for watching guys. Um, if there's any questions regarding the cleaning and the care of your um, ports and lenses, feel free to put them down in the comment section below and I'll be more than happy to get back to you as quickly as I can. Thanks for your time and I'll see you in the next one.